guys, welcome back to our reaction to The Mandalorian, and today we are reacting to uh, Season 3, Chapter 23, <laughs> Episode, episode seven. 7. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of titles there. Yes. Star Wars Celebration was this week, and uh, if you didn't see our reaction to the Ahsoka trailer, we are thrilled and stoked. We it was thronged. Thronged, yes, there you go. It was a magnificent trailer, and uh, lots of announcements came out of Star Wars Celebration that we are very excited about. Dave Filoni's movie, um, Star Wars Visions, that's going to be beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really excited. And last time on The Mandalorian, um, we were a little harsh on that episode. Um, it wasn't our favorite, and I know that it was a little controversial um, with some people you know, being very, very harsh about um, the choices made in the episode and about the season as a whole and then people on the other side of that acting as though, you know, everyone is a troll. <laughs> Which, everyone isn't a troll. We, we, you know, had what we feel are legitimate criticisms. Um, but there were also people that really, really loved the episode. So kudos to you guys if you did. Um, we weren't the biggest fans. We were just laughing at Jack Black all the time. So um, very distracting for us personally. A word on that. Uh, Not that, obviously, actors are going to act. Yes, They yes. can be in things, and yes. it doesn't have to be distracting. But it's just when it is in such a unique IP as Star Wars, and it's a very recognizable actor acting as their personality usually is in yeah. other roles. There you go. Then you're just like, I can't really be in the story right now because I'm just seeing you as an actor doing your character. And it just feels like it doesn't fit. Honestly, in the vibe. I feel like um, with the controversy regarding last week's episode, my biggest, um, the thing that I felt was most unfair, uh, I mean, there were a lot of things unfair, but, um, but I felt like it was a straw man to say that people complaining about cameos are, you know, basically, um, having some sort of cognitive dissonance because of course they love it when, you know, really, really good famous actors are, you know, in Star Wars, you know what I mean? Um, the problem with that is that, um, you know, cameos are not roles, right? Like cameos are there to say, look at this, you know, if it's a, if it's like an actor cameo, it's like, look at this actor showed up, you know what I mean? As a joke mm -hmm. or as a like wink to the audience. Um, and that's what that was. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't like, is it a, it's not the is same it thing a, as, okay, like here's a perfect example. Carl I didn't Weathers. I feel like it served the story. Right. Carl Weathers is a well-known actor and he has a character in The Mandalorian that is like a fully fleshed a out character. He has a role, right? Um, that serves not only um, the story in a long-term fashion, but he's been able to like create a real character. You know what I mean? Um, that's not the same thing as as you know whoever made that casting decision was like everyone is going to know this is jack black and the point of us you know like of this moment is oh my gosh it's jack black you know what i mean like those are two totally different things um and ways of going about casting and so i think it would have been a lot more um a lot more interesting if Jack Black wasn't just being himself in in real life you know what I mean if he was actually taking on a role we wouldn't have felt that as much but he was just acting like Jack Black mm -hmm. um, or if he was wearing makeup or like a costume that would have been cool too um, obviously I mean like an alien costume mm -hmm. you know what I mean anyway um, we don't have to. We don't have to talk about it. It's it's fine. It's whatever. We were complaining a little bit about how Bo-Katan got the dark saber on some odd technicality. Um, yeah, it was a little anticlimactic. Yeah, we were like it was we're, just it was a weaker episode. If you're visiting our channel for the first time, we're rarely negative about the stuff that we watch and what we like, unless unless we have like we like to be fans of things. When push comes to shove, we'll talk about what we have issues with, um, but. Oftentimes we give shows the benefit of the doubt. We watched through all of Rings of Power and it wasn't up until like the second to last episode that we were genuinely like, yeah, we're not we're not feeling this. Um, so yeah, we give things the benefit of the doubt for sure. And we still, um, like I said, we're super excited about Ahsoka 
And we love Star Wars and we love everything that Star Wars is doing. So if you enjoyed um, the last episode, more power to you. Hopefully for us, this episode will be a lot more fun um, and and um, that we'll feel a lot more satisfied with this episode. So um, with that all of the way, we should definitely jump into this episode. All of the way. With all of that out of the way. <laughs> We should jump into this episode. Before we do so, we'd like to invite you to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications. All those things really help support the channel and help us to be able to dedicate more time to doing more reactions to different things that you love. We'd also love to invite you to join our Patreon uh, just to help support the channel a little bit as we continue to build it up. Um, yeah. 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 Let's watch. Let's do it. We love the vibes. It looks like Blade Runner. Oh, TK two seven five five. TK. Report and make it quick, as I am sure. Oh my gosh! Sir, Here he is. Pirates would not be wow. Support. Did he shave? It wasn't the New Republic. Something. Magistrate His face looks different. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Yeah, he looks different. He's back. He back. Ooh. What? Whoa, sick lair, boy. Sick lair. What the heck? What? Show no sign of our true strength. Oh my. They're plotting. Commander, your hit and run operations are gaining too much notice. Dude. If we are perceived as any, that strength must not be wasted. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the re-emergence of our military. What? And provide Commandant Hux enough time to deliver Hux? Project Necromancer. Who? They're dropping Captain Pillion. Project Necromancer. That's Palpatine. That Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing. What? Thrawn! I hear whispers from one end of the galaxy to another. And never a word of Thrawn. Thrawn! I can't believe it! Spoken this is his imminent return. It is Perhaps imminent, guys. Time, we it's imminent. To do. And the research That's Hux's dad. Us. It must be. Mm -hmm. Doc, you'll have your reinforcements. And your guard. We shall be rid of the Mandalorians once and for all. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! This is so different from the last episode already. <laughs> the plot is thickening and everything is coming together. Those wow, that's friend, cool. Mandalorian privateers. Giant mythosaur. I bet you have that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The two factions. Sick. I love it. They all look so much the same compared to the others. I know. Nice. Hey guys. Ting 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 ting. Speech. Welcome, fellow Mandalorians. We invite you to make camp. Mando. <laughs> <laughs> they all turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Thanks. <laughs> like, huh? Spider-Man meme? <gasps> what? How? The heck? Oh, he's driven around by Babu. <laughs> Is that Babu? I know. No. What the heck? What did you do to IG-11? The pilot provides cognition. Yes. What's the point? Bad baby. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, they're putting Baby Yoda in it? <gasps> what? Oh. <laughs> what? I get it. He's a baby. Uh -huh. So what do you think? He gets to walk around and be tall. Nice work. I'll give him that. But maybe when he's older. No. <laughs> he can what talk now. No. He can I talk. He's saying he's old enough to operate it. Shut yes. <laughs> How does he know which button means what? <laughs> The force. No. Please let him try it out my office. This is yes. so <laughs> No, this is not a good idea. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> Stop it! Oh my god! <laughs> he loves it! <laughs> Melu run! Melu run! Oh no, he's getting more power! And you gotta pay for it. <laughs> he's so happy. Are they rotating one of the birds? Rotating? Oh, uh, looks like it. Is that one of the birds? Oops. So much for flying. We're just then. using it as food now. <laughs> I will go. I will go. And pass. Yep. Of course, the main character is up to this point. Of course. I will go. Oh, and a few others. The Randys that will, will die. Go. Oh, Randys. I will go. I will go. Uh, guys, oh, we don't need, we don't need everyone. I Stop. I will go. No, there's too many. Guys. I will go as well. Some of you cancel out. <laughs> what if the armor uh, challenges is doing all this, and then she's gonna challenge Bo for the dark saber? This was all part of the master plan. Sus. I just a thought. I'm glad they didn't bring IG-11 back. You know, yeah. it's just like a robot suit for Grogu. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we back. That's so scary. Yeah! <laughs> what? Dude, this shot is even cooler than the first time. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, squad. Squad, indeed. Boss. What? What the heck? Pirates? Yeah, it looks like a pirate ship. Do you have <laughs> what? We do? You wear the crest of the night owl. Are these Mandos too? Ooh. What? Whoa. The ISB had reached out to me to negotiate a ceasefire. In exchange for submitting to the Empire and disarming, all remaining cities in Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. What? Oh. He didn't even win it? I didn't trust him, but it was the only chance I had to save our people. How did these others survive? We were hidden on the moon of Concordia. Wow. Were you Death Watch? Death Watch. Exists Death Watch. No longer. I only know of this weapon what you taught me. To be honest, it means nothing to me or my people. What means more to me is honor and loyalty and character. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. Wow, they're all Dang. swearing fealty to her. They all believe in her. Dang. Those of you who are well enough can join us in the search for the Great Forge. We can do better than that. I'm gonna take you there. Comment below what that actor we can bring you there. is um is from. It's like on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, I recognize him. Onward, Mandalorians! To the Forge! He looks cool. He has a great voice too. Yeah. Good vibes. Do that. If you do that, then I'll do that. If you do that, then I'll do that. If you do that, then I'll do that. You can't move an enforcer like that. Can flank jump. Cultural differences. Mm -hmm. Different ways of playing the game. The enforcer moves like a wing guard when it's flanking. <laughs> These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Oh. Ah, uh, he's gonna attack though. Whoa! Why? Man, these people are so idiotic. Come on. Guys. Not worth it. Oof. Yeah, don't challenge Paz. He's giant. Yeah. Everyone's so chill. This is normal. Oh! No. No. What? No. Oh my god! No. No. Baby! This is not the Jedi way. <laughs> so cute! Why am I crying? He's just a little baby. He's just no. You 
attach Don't your fight! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. You didn't learn that from me. She's so cute! <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Copy gone. Yeah, something's about to happen. Gideon. Huh. The attention is, uh... The yeah, and there's real. something weird with her. Yeah. It keeps it keeps showing her, yeah. and I'm waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Whenever a story, like a movie or TV show, keeps cutting back to different people, it means something is about, about to go down, you there. know? On the sto this was once the heart of our civilization. I can't believe the, uh... The fires have been extinguished. The blacksmith the went back. I'm sure she was the one who wanted to see this the most. Yeah, I know. She wanted to come see Not the here. forge. Yeah. We never left. Get packs. Oh, more Mandos? More survivors. Guys? Imperial? Those aren't Mandalorians. They fly now? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that was the... It's those stormtroopers at the beginning. That Moff Gideon walked by. Take cover. Yeah. Oh. Did you get my joke? Yeah, I got you. Wow. They look so good. Thanks. How do Mandalorians kill each other if they're all wearing Beskar? You gotta hit the weak points. Yeah. Oh, and that's how you that. do it. And that. Wow. Yeah, there, that, there you go. Nice. Yep. Careful, guys. You're gonna have a Night of a Thousand Tears Part 2. This is epic. Run! Do you think Moth Gideon was on Mandalore? They're like running into where he was? Because that hallway looked imperial. Yeah, that was weird. Dude! He's a tank! Yeah, no, this is totally what's going on. Oh! Wow! Oh! They're chasing them in. It's a trap. No! It's a trap! Oh no. Whoa! What is this place? It's a trap! No! No! What? No! What? Wait, they're just getting him? Yeah. He was the only one that got separated. It's Moff Gideon! What? Disarm him. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Thank you for gathering the Mandalorians into one place. Mandalore will live on in me. Dude, so many people theorized about that, that he would have his own rich Mando resources. armor and stuff. I have created the Dang. next generation. I will create an army. Oh God! That will no. bring order to the galaxy. No. Wow, he is so pleased Why with himself. Why don't we take your fleet off the board? While we yeah. Still have no. The See. Of Activate the interceptors and bombers. No. They totally are losing right now. Oh. What the heck? My gosh. I can't believe like he's making such a comeback right now. I believe this is the part where you return the dark saber to its rightful owner. This is the way. This is the way. Let's go. What? What's she doing? I'll cover the rear. Man, we would be lost without Paz's giant gun. We're clear. Fall back. Paz. Fall back. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We're not Let's go. He's not gonna fit. You have a child. No. There are too many. You have a child. No. no. This is the way. No. <laughs> this is the way. You have a son. No. His gun is overheating. No, don't go down like this! No! Yeah! Yes! Hulk out! Moment of glory! No! Yes! Survive! He cut them all. Oh, he's about to die. You think so? 
Moff. Yeah. Moff Gideon's about to kill him. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, Ooh. it's the Praetorian Guard! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! Bro! Boss battle! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Oh, he did the pull! No! That was a terrible death. Oh my gosh. They finished him. Do not. What a depressing ending. How rude. I do not accept. <sighs> okay. Did you notice that he had the horns, the little horns on his helmet? Yep. Do you think the armor sold them out? I don't know. I was like, why why does he have the horns on his? That would be betrayal. <laughs> betrayal. Well, I don't know. She has seemed sus. I, yeah, I don't I mean, that's probably dumb, but I was wondering. I was like, why does he have horns? Does it just look cool? So what's the, what's the, the meaning mall of the vibe? Horns? Yeah. Well, see, just I'm not gonna keep saying it, but just as a follow-up, this episode, in contrast to the last episode, two very different things. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. I think part of the, and yeah, you're right, we shouldn't keep harping on, on this topic, but I think kind of the point where I just, I really do agree is like, we've waited so long for this season. And then you have to, if every episode released all at once, you wouldn't really feel that way. But like you wait every week for the story to advance. Yeah. And for you to get not just a fun time, not just like, oh, you know, this is fun and funny. Which but, some people thought. Yeah, they did. But for me, I'm like, I, especially this late into the game with the rising action, I was like, I want more substance, you know? Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, this episode, had Ooh. that substance for sure. Um, well, I mean, right off the bat, Thrawn, all the Thrawn stuff. Yeah. It's like. So you were right. At least they teased it. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna show up. But... Yeah, I I don't think he'll show up. I think they'll save. After seeing the Ahsoka trailer, I wasn't sure how it was gonna connect to this season of The Mandalorian. But as we know now, yeah, okay, Thrawn is the heir to the Empire, and they talked at length about how, oh, his return. This is what we're all waiting for before we make our grand entrance to take on the New Republic, basically. But then there's also this sub-contingency of Project Necromancer, which clearly is Snoke and Palpatine and all of that, all of that jazz from mm. the sequels. So, so yeah. They're bringing it all together. They are definitely, they're all roads lead to the sequels. They are definitely not downplaying the sequels. They're filling in the sequels and the context for the sequels, which ultimately, if done right, will make the sequels better. It'll make the experience of watching the sequels much better. Uh, in the same way that every, like guys, I grew up, and by the time I got to my teenage years, it was clear to me that everyone hated the prequels. And then I became an adult and the, the switch flipped. And it's like, now the prequels are the most beloved thing ever, as beloved as the original trilogy. So I'm not saying that the sequels will be on that level. I mean, after all, everything is George Lucas when it comes to the original and the, the prequels. Um, so it can't always reach that bar, but the experience of enjoying it through what they're doing uh, with everything, obviously with the greater context, mm. will make it a better experience. Um, anyway, anyway. Mm. 
So yeah, lots of Thrawn in this. Project Necromancer, Hux's dad shows up. We have all of that going on at the same time as the... We saw What's-Her-Face for like two seconds. Mm -hmm. We still didn't see the scientist. Yep. So who knows? Well, he him. said, Moff Gideon said, you know, like, oh, we're gonna get him back. I don't know if you caught that. But why did she erase his memory? I think she made his brain in a more pliant place to where it, it, they're very much more um, able to manipulate him into his work again, basically. Um, well, yeah. So we have all the Mandalorian stuff. So she finally united these two factions. Mm -hmm. They're getting along-ish. This should have been a two-parter finale. What? I feel, I feel like kind of bummed out that we have to wait a week in the middle of all the action. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what can you do? But I feel like it would have been good if it was like, all right, let's jump into the next episode. You know what I mean? Because like we're yeah. in the middle of all the action. Um, yeah. But anyway. But... Yeah, they're reuniting everyone. So bo surrendered the Darksaber in the first place. She didn't, it she wasn't even- trying to save them. Yeah. I guess, I guess she had to, she was beaten not in single combat, but in the war in general, Moff Gideon beat her, yeah. you know? So, so that was why he's like, oh, it's rightfully mine. I, I beat you, you know? Um, uh, man, they should have killed him. Sorry. They should have killed him back in the, yeah. <laughs> in the last season at the end of it. Regret that. Yeah. So is Luke going to show up at the end of the season two and save everyone? All the evil guys were waiting to kill them. Yeah. So that first scene with the whole meeting of the like Imperial warlords that all took place on Mandalore. That was a good, that was a good oh, reveal. Yeah. Yes. It was, it was surprising. It was surprising that they like ran in and they're like, oh, this is like a whole base. So I guess yeah. it's clear that was what the whole destruction of her home was about. Like, remember, it was like, oh, we, I remember we don't, that yeah. happened. Yeah, we don't know what happened. It just a bunch of Thai bombers okay. came and destroyed her thing, right? Mm -hmm. And they didn't, um, they didn't acknowledge like why that had happened. So now it's clear it's because Moff Gideon is on Mandalore with all of this um, equipment. You know yes. what I mean? Um, so he. He was trying to take out Bo Katan, basically. Mm -hmm. That's clear. Um, oh, and I like Baby Yoda's suit. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah, that was It a adds a, another, like. You were dying. Comedy element. Yes. It's so cute. That was a really depressing ending. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sad. Especially because they set up all that stuff with his kid earlier in the season, you know? Um, now Paz is dead. I mean, he's been Wait, like. Wait, are all the Vizlas dead now? Yeah, is that, well, well, his son. His son, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, we got that Death Watch uh, name drop. Finally, the connection of children of the Watch to Death Watch. You know. How are they ever going to make another home there, though, with the Empire being like this? It's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're going to reclaim Mandalore. It's not a good idea. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen in the end? Yeah, I don't know. I felt weird about all this stuff like, oh, I'm taking these sick Mandalorians back to the fleet and stuff. You know? Yeah, it kept cutting to her, and I don't know why. I feel like maybe maybe you're right. Maybe she did. I just feel like I'm, I'm, I hope that they wrap up all of the, like, weird, what fe has felt like weird intentions from the different characters. Um, like, I guess mostly the armor is the one who's, who I'm, like, questioning still, you know, is, like, what is her, like, angle, you know? Um, and that is just to say that I don't, I can't tell, like, ultimately at the very beginning of this story she was just like loyal to the covert and stuff like that but then in book of boba fett she was like i don't like bo katan she's like you know like she's a failure and she's a bad omen and like all these things and then it's like suddenly bo katan just outright tells her like she just accepts her into the covert and then bo katan is like oh i saw the mythosaur and then she's like okay that means we need to go take re retake mandalore yeah, and you can take off your helmet and yeah do all these things um and I'm not, she doesn't have to have some sort of like weird 
uh, backstabber angle for it to be interesting. I just want her to explain the reasoning. They haven't told us a lot about what's going on in her her head. You know what I mean? She's just kind of been there. Yeah, and uh, and I'm really like. So, but it would be crazy if she did some sort of backstab and yeah. and like made a deal with Moff. Yeah, and like helped him make that armor. Cause like where did they get the Beskar? I mean maybe oh they, they stole got it, it from they got it from the Great Purge. Oh well yeah, yeah that's true. But just saying like and then she could have made a deal with him to give him back the dark saber or something and then like yeah. I don't know I don't know it felt a little yeah. weird and also I did say why would she be going back because of course she would want to see the forge but maybe she knew that was going to happen so she got out of there yeah I don't know if she was with them. And she knew, okay, they're going to be attacked. I'm going to go back. To I ship. didn't think about this until I saw the horns. And I was like, what is that all about? Why? Like, obviously, the costume designing is wanting to connect Moff to her. If they're like, this one has horns like her. Well, it could be Death Watch or... Or did they? No, they didn't have horns. Death Watch did once, once Maul took over. They put horns on their helmet. Maybe it was just his own personal style. He was like, I want horns on my helmet. Yeah, I know. That's, again, that's what I'm saying. It's like, something could be there, but I'm not sure. But that makes it cool because Ultimately, they have you guessing. What I want out of the season finale is I want, I just want some very clear answers as to like, it's hard to say like this in, in the right way, but kind of like, what was the season about? The finale will really determine what the season was about. Mm. Obviously, Din Djarin was sharing this season with Bo-Katan. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not bothered by that. I just want to want to come to a place at the end of the next episode where I feel like it's very clear to me, like the kind of story that they were telling um, and things aren't like confusing as far as motivations or even just kind of like mythological structure you know what i mean Hmm. like the idea of like when stories are like channeling something greater than just like oh we're just kind of writing in aimless directions you know what i mean but like we're following like the um tradition of telling this kind of story you know what i mean Mm -hmm. all star wars is is it's fairy tales you know and so it's like what kind of fairy tale are they telling in this story i don't i'm just i don't know yet parts i can see Bo-Katan is stepping into the role of the kind of like anointed one. You know what I mean? Um, And so, but like where Din fits into that, where the armor fits into that. And and everyone thought that Din Djarin was going to be like the reluctant anointed one. He was going to be the one to like, before the season started, everyone was like, I mean, for goodness sakes, his picture is the main poster of him holding the Darksaber. So it, it makes you think like, ah, it's about... Din Djarin and he's the guy but it has done this shift to Bo-Katan which has felt narratively confusing by the end of this so like now I just want to know what what kind of story are they telling comment below what you guys think because I'm not saying I'm not like pleased I'm just saying that like I feel like I will be a little dissatisfied if it just is all plot and no thematic substance you know what I mean if it's just like Ah, the battle between Moff Gideon and everyone. And And we're ending on a cliffhanger. And we're ending on a cliffhanger and that's it. Yeah. I want to feel that... uh, I don't want that to happen. I'll be a little... It just depends on how it works out. But I'll be a little like... Hopefully they can wrap it up well. Comment below if if you guys get what I'm saying. I'm just going to be a little like... If it ends how this episode ended, where it's just like, Oh, everything is devastated. Oh no, what are we doing? It will feel like all plot, you know, is happening, but not real like, and here was the message. You know what I mean? Um, Whereas that was a bit more clear cut at the end of the last season and it felt so satisfying, you know? So, um, so anyway. um, Cool. Here's hoping, here's hoping that they, I'm sure that they'll, if not in this season, stick the landing of the whole story that they're telling. And I'm like stoked that Moff Gideon showed up in that armor. That was, yeah, you love that. That was a peak moment. <laughs> that was like a really, really good moment. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think she's going to ride them with the sword? That would be sick. Yeah. She should. Do you think Moff Gideon is going to get eaten by the myth of the sword? That would be sick too. 
that should happen. What a way to go out. Yeah. I mean, he's got to go up at, go out at some point and make room for Thrawn. You know, that's true. I'm going to have to dive deep into that. I mean, Thrawn will eat him. <laughs> Just eating his liver. What? <laughs> It just seems like something you would do. Why? Because <laughs> he's creepy. Say it in his voice. <laughs> I'm eating his liver. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good impression. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> well, on that I just note. I thought of a psychopath. I think we are going to <laughs> wrap it up and. Um, <laughs> Our family will be joining us next week for the finale. Okay. No, they will. Oh, yeah. They'll catch up. For the finale, we will have some family members joining us um, that have been working endlessly, watching endlessly to catch up <laughs> on all the Star Wars stuff. So, so yeah, they'll be joining us probably next time. So uh, get excited for that. We're, it's going to be a fun finale for sure. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So Leave a comment. Tell us your thoughts. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think is happening. Tell us things. Tell us. Like this video. Subscribe. Notifications. Patreon. All the things. We'll see you next week. Bye.